Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to be unboxing a Star Wars Black Series figure. Today it is quite an exclusive one, it's R5-D4. Now this figure was uh, only available from GameStop in America, so it's really hard to get over here. Uh, it is open already, you can see the bubbles um, being detached, hence why I got this figure, because it was cheap. Um, this figure is usually quite expensive if it's sealed on card. I love the image of the backing card here with Luke R5-D4 and the Jawas. I love that bit of A New Hope. And I've been after this droid for quite a while and I'm really glad to finally have it in my collection. So let me just take him out. Um, if I show you the backing card here a little closer, it's a really nice image there. So we'll get rid of that, and then we have the figure in the plastic. So this is him out of the packaging. I absolutely love him. He's always been one of my favourite droids. I don't know why he's not in the film very much, but I'm known for liking random small characters in out of franchises and stuff. And R5-D4 is one of my favourite droids, so I'm really happy to finally have him in my Black Series collection. I've always liked the design of the R5 droids, and I love that he's got blue and red on him. He's got this shiny collar. And now he does have a third leg and you get that by twisting his head, it's like a hidden feature. And then that allows you to have the classic three legs as it trundles along. It has got wheels on the bottom. But yeah, that's the classic pose for an astromech droid. So if you remember the movie, he's the droid that blows himself up so that R2-D2 and C-3PO can stay together. So that's the canon anyway. Obviously on screen it doesn't come across like that, he just blows up. Um, but if you read the novels and stuff and the behind the scenes information about the character, it's kind of known that he uh, sacrificed himself. So R2-D2 gets purchased instead of him and R2-D2 and C-3PO stayed together. So it wasn't, if it wasn't for R5-D4, the events of Star Wars wouldn't progress as they did because <laughs> R2-D2 and C-3PO would have been separated. Uh, so he is like other astromech droids in the Black series. He's got little compartments here which have little tools uh, that come out. And there's another one on the other side. So they're like hidden away in there. He doesn't have any of the compartments like R2-D2 has on the top. Uh, that doesn't matter. He's just a cool looking droid and I'm so happy to have him in my collection. So thanks for watching this video everyone, please subscribe to my channel to see my future videos and I'll see you all soon, take care, bye!